Okay, so not everyone's good at God of War Ragnarok, but with this build, you don't really have to be. Now, the game is on Give Me God of War right now, which if you're not that good at the game, you shouldn't be playing on this difficulty, so everything should be much easier for you. But just to show off how much damage you take on this difficulty, I'm just going to let the boss hit me. Let's see how quickly he kills me. One, two. Nope. 30 minutes. Three. Three hits and I'm dead. Which will probably be two hits depending on the attacks he does. Now the relic I have on is Aura Protection. Hilt of Force Bander. Let's test that on this boss. So that's a big difference, and this is on giving God of War difficulty, so if you're on an easier difficulty, it'll absorb a lot more damage. Now I'm actually going to try to kill him. I'm not going to be too fancy. I'm going to, like, play it, like, the way anyone could play this without having to do anything too tricky. The only really tricky thing I'll do is, um this attack so if you just press r1 it's gonna do this combo one two three four you don't want to do that for fourth attack it's a little too slow you want to do one two three block one two three block and if you do it really quickly it should be like one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three. something like that you know you don't want to be brave anytime you take damage it's gonna be way worse than you hitting him so don't be brave just Turtle behind your shield, specifically this shield, the Stonewall shield. This thing will absorb all attacks except yellow attack when it's fully charged, which it takes four hits for it to get fully charged. So keep an eye on that. Should be on the bottom left of your screen. Uh, one, two, three, four bar right next to that triangle icon. So whenever that's full, your shield will be glowing orange slash red. You need a shield smash to get rid of that. You don't want to just shield smash at any time because if the enemy hits you while you're doing that, you're going to take a ton of damage. So you want to like look for an opening. Or if anything, just tank it and let him break your guard. And if he breaks your guard, I'll show you what to do. You just want to activate the Rage, which I'm using the Wrath. But you could do the same thing with Fury. Just can't do it with Valor. Valor is a little different. But Fury or Wrath, either one works. I'm just going with Wrath. Alright, let's see if I could first try this boss. That was not good. The turtle, don't be brave. He's going red. Dodge red attack. Shield is ready again. Don't be brave. That's a uh, double blue ring. Gonna be brave. I'm gonna reset my shield. Block everything. He's gonna break it. Raid. Right after raid. Shield. Do all three more ruining. Activate the guard.
He's actually hurting himself every time he hits my shield. See, pretty easy. There's probably a couple attacks that could do a lot of damage to you if you mess up, but even then, that relic should protect you for the most part. This is what the build is. I accidentally let him hit me, hit me at the beginning a couple times. Alright, I'm gonna try this build on the Valkyrie Queen. A couple things I wanted to go over is um the runic attacks are pretty important, at least the first one. You want the health touch, flame of anguish, and the holder charge. Those three really combo really well together and they seem to stun the boss or the enemy you're hitting. So that's really good. Get used to practicing that one. You want to start off with health touch and then go to the holder charge and then finish off with the flame of anguish. It might take a little bit of practice, but when you do get used to it, you'll be doing the elemental damage from this one. Also, I had the wrong, not really the wrong, you could use either or. You could use the elemental evasion, which anytime you burn poison or frost, just spam roll and you'll get rid of the, the status affliction. But the one I had on was this one. When you go to critical level, you get an invisible barrier and strength, which I guess it would help as well. You could try either or. But I would say if you're getting poisoned or burned or frosted throughout the fight, you're definitely going to want this instead. It's far more effective. Um, I could have used other, other amulets here, but the reason I chose these ones is because I want this build to be accessible to anyone. Even if you're not no-hitting and you're taking damage and stuff, 
at all times these will be effective because you're going to poison the enemy and you're going to be doing more damage based on your luck throughout the entire fight because of the Vanaheim and then this one it doesn't require any health or nothing as long as you have good defense you'll be doing more stun and you're using your fist throughout the fight so this is going to be helpful so yeah this build is truly meant for anyone anyone can use it um anytime you're attacking you're going to get uh soul explosion and then cooldown reduction with the relic again if you're sitting there tanking the attacks with the shield which is what i actually want you to do also going to get cooldown of the relic and this one is just to do a lot of poison damage and barehanded attack damage uh the more you get the relic the better because the aura of protection is going to save you throughout the fight whatever damage you're taking you'll be taking a lot less um this shield attachment helps as well anytime you interrupt a blue attack ring you're going to get a chance to get the elemental storm those are pretty useful um your attachments for these are not that use that important because you're not going to be using it but the stats that come with it are pretty useful so i would recommend using the ones i have on here as for freya i use oh i was using the wrong one you want stun oops you definitely want stun and you want the poison poison attack here and i have sonic arrow sonic aftershock sonic attunement and then runic potency uh, that's about it skills again not that useful because you're gonna be using your fist i have everything unlocked so yeah this is a stun based build you don't have to be an expert to use this build just practice a little bit and it should work Gana, I've been she calling her Gana this whole time. Attack only if you think we are ready. I think we're ready. Good. I'll see you pay for what you've done. Here's a block. Two red attack. Dodge. Block. And block everything. My relic is ready again. I'm gonna reset my shield. If he goes to the right, he's gonna do the red stab attack. If he goes to the left, he's gonna do other attack that he could block. Again, block. Let her just absorb this dash. I'm gonna use my relic thing again. Sound attack. Not the fizzle arrow. Block. Dash. Anytime she uh, goes to the right, she's gonna do the red. Block. 
she's gonna not do the red. Let's see the combo she does. Break through the raid. Kill that. Very easy build to use. Anyone can beat this game with this build. I'm just gonna try one more time. But yeah, I made corrections to the amulets. Only one. This one. Everything else is the same. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps.